Okay, it just happens to be uh, Saturday afternoon, January the 18th, 2014. Can you dig that? Yeah, I can't wait till the end of January either. How about that? Well, <clears throat> we're like we were talking about right, just before, we're going to get a second polar vortex that is coming next week. Polar bear? How lovely. How lovely that is. Yeah. Well, can't wait. I, they, they don't project any nor'easters or, or blizzards, which is what concerns me the most. I mean, I can always deal with the cold by bundling up, wearing layers, but shoveling a lot of snow and, and scraping ice off my car and, and you know, uh, spreading the damn rocks off, yeah. that's extra work that I can avoid if it if it, we don't have a blizzard. It's just extra trouble. Oh, I got news for you. I think it was 1904 or 5, somewhere's yeah. around there. New York had a gigantic blizzard, I believe, at the end of March. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you know, uh, winter, old man winter doesn't leave uh, yeah. quite so easily. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we never get a spring anymore. We shoot right in from winter to summer. Oh, we did last year. I know that. Yeah. Well, with this global warming, there, uh, a climate change. They, they want to use the word climate change. They're attributing the polar vortex to that, to climate change. Um, well, we do get climate change every what, fifteen thousand years or something. I mean, there was an ice age uh, which covered the whole Midwest down to Texas and etc. at one time in the United States. Well, they say if, so, the, if the Gulf Stream should ever stop flowing, uh, Europe would be plunged into an ice age because of its, uh, what is it, lat lat latitude, longitude, its position on, on the globe. Yeah, everybody should watch that movie called Ice. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, period. <laughs> Vanilla ice. <laughs> when the whole United States was frozen over and etc. So then we got to very live, interesting. Then everybody's got to live like the Eskimos. Got you got you have to eat a hundred percent protein diet and fat. What are you? Yeah. Well, what are you going to grow? It's a good question. You know what happens to a lot of the cattle and things out west? When they have their blizzards and stuff, they it, freeze to death. All livestock, oh, all crops. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Welcome everyone to uh, Progressive Discussions. Uh, I am your host, James P. Madonna, and I will formally um, pipe aboard my co-host and mentor. Aboard what? I'll, I'll get to that. Oh. Pipe him aboard our uh, liberal progressive or progressive liberal starship censored the starship censored which is the name of the newspaper I'm sorry the name of the newsletter that he founded in 1977 my authentic bosun's whistle our <laughs> well our welcome aboard the one and only the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman get How those Republicans to walk the plank yeah, they all deserve. I'm okay. They all deserve to walk the plank, every one of them. Shark bait. Instead of Republican Party, they should call them the Lazy Vacationing Party. <laughs> the well, they're always partying. The do, they're that's always par partying. That's why they're they partying. They take that uh, literally. Yeah. You know. I party. mean, that's what they do. They 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 don't work. They repeal and obstruct, and they they barely show up at the Capitol building, and they get paid a lot of money in tax dollars. Not counting perks and all the freebies they get and uh, all the all the bribes they take, you know, and, uh, and they, they call the poor lazy. They don't even pay for the, the for the coffee and pastries and 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 uh, um, whatever rolls, muffins that that, that gets uh, sent to the White House when they're there. They they you know everything is free for them. Well, why do you think that they have to? Uh, call uh, uh, the poor people uh, 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 entitlement people. 
you know when it's not even an entitlement but they what, are the ones okay. who are getting the entitlement right now I don't know if you if you saw that new banner I put up on the progressive discussions Facebook group but it mentions all the different examples that's happening today that are considered corporate welfare and you will see that the the lazy uh, moochers and the people collecting entitlements is definitely not America's poor. That's correct. It's the people that are pointing their fingers and and bashing the poor, which is the um, the one th the one uh, subject topic that I'm going to speak of before we go to our readings. I have only one, but it's interesting. It's really not a week goes by where a right winger doesn't send my blood pressure through the roof. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm, I didn't finish my introduction. We're coming to you from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in northeastern New Jersey. And yes, it's freezing out. Um, Republican Senator David Vitter, ah. capital V-I-T-T-E-R, from Louisiana, okay. Who did bad things. Okay, he is pushing for a law where it, to make it mandatory, he wants to make it mandatory that all food stamp recipients collecting SNAP benefits must must present a photo ID <laughs> to use their SNAP, to use their food stamps, which is actually family's first card with a magnetic strip. So you have to, he wants people to show a photo ID, digital photo ID. And take drug tests. Uh, that's even worse than the photo ID and take a drug test because... Well, this will all prevent a lot of people from going and getting help. That's what it's all about. Oh, like, like food stamps is such a big help. Like it's so much money to buy groceries. Even welfare is a joke. It's a drop in a bucket. What the hell do these Republicans think these people are receiving anyway? Too much. Too much. They're Too hardly much. they're hardly getting anything. Yeah. Well, it's it's something, and you shouldn't give them anything. Make them lazy. Oh, make them lazy like the Republicans. Like those unemployed. Why are they're they lazy. lazy and not the Republican congressmen? Well, how come they're always lazy? How come the little guys you always lazy? You know what lazy? it is. If you are something, suppose you're a bad person, a crook, or whatever, always say that the other guy is what you are. And that becomes the perception of the words, debate. In other words, they want to take the focus off themselves. Off themselves. That's correct. That's correct. It's like a like a diversion. Uh, uh, well, it's like the Geico commercial. A smoke screen. It's the oldest trick in the book. What's the oldest trick in the book? Look over there. And the uh, the right hand tells you to look over there. The left hand's doing something else. Exactly. Picking your pocket. Misdirection. The oldest trick in the book. Magicians know it very well. Well, and they're also using the uh, Nazi Germany a technique of telling the same lie over and over. Well, yeah, people believe it after a while. They yeah. believe it, but they complain profusely online that people bellyache. Even, even people from red states are complaining. But there has to be enough of the other nincompoops that are voting, re-electing and voting these scoundrels in, obviously. Because Christy looks like a very gentle big bear. I, I like him. Oh, yeah. My mother says he looks like a cuddly, big, fat teddy bear. Or, or as the, uh, one person said to me years ago about George Bush, I trust him. No, brother. George W. Bush. Yeah. Days. Well, there were people that... Um, there are people that vote for the stupidest reasons. Like who's better? A lot of people vote like, for the like stupidest reasons. Who's better looking? Who's ugly? The other one's handsome. The other one's ugly. Uh, 
dumb reasons like the this idiot bartender from pub 46 in clifton you know when when they had the election when obama got got in the first time you know she she mentioned oh i think sarah palin is cute i'm gonna vote for mccain and palin cool oh she's cute that well that's something a bartender would say you know but you're supposed the, to vote for a person who has the policies that agree with you. Well, it is your election. It is your vote. Why can't it be your policies? Does it have to be a person? You know what's interesting? Uh, when, when the little guy, when the poor and the middle class vote two-party system, let's say, let's say they vote for a Democrat, because they're smart enough to realize that the Democrat is the lesser of the two evils and they will receive a few crumbs. <laughs> Whereas with the Republican, they will receive absolutely nothing. This is what my grandfather used to say when I was a kid, and he was right. You know, that's why the Democrats are the lesser of the two evils, but the both parties are still corporatists in the two-party system. But, okay, it's the lesser of the two evils when a poor American votes Democrat, but it's, it's never the lesser of two evils when a wealthy Republican votes Republican because they always come out smelling like a rose when they vote Republican if they're rich. Well, it's not only the richness. So the, it's never the lesser of the two evils for, for a right-winger. The right Republican Party has co-opted <laughs> yeah. religion. But they Abortion. know nothing. But they know nothing about the Bible. That's correct. But that doesn't hinder them, does it? And that, it that, doesn't hinder Mr. Joel Osteen, that has Mr. Popovich, Billy Graham, one Peter, and two. Peter Popoff. Uh, Pat Robertson. Pat Robertson. They have their legions of followers. Never hinder Jerry Falwell. And that send them money. That's correct. These people don't do not really know the, the Bible that well either. That's correct. But they get away with it, don't they? Because people. there is in America this thing about religion. In other words, most people think that an atheist cannot be moral. Because to be moral, mm -hmm. you have to be religious. Or to be a hypocrite, you can be religious too. That's correct. And most are, aren't they? Well, um, you know, they, they call them prosperity preachers. That's another... Th um, prosperity for themselves. That's another uh, aspect of these evangelists that people are attracted to, is the fact that they talk about God wants you to be wealthy, wants you to get rich. And people just love to hear that. So they're, they're, in other words, they're telling people what they want to hear, not what they should be hearing and what they should be learning because the the truth is a very bitter pill to swallow for the, exactly. for, for the average person. For everybody. The truth is a harmful thing if you're doing bad. Why would you want to know the truth if you're doing bad? If, somebody, if you've set up a bad society so if somebody bad businesses, if somebody's corrupt and they're immoral and they're they're a crook, they don't want to they don't want to be be exposed to the world as such. Just look at the Bible and see what they did to all the uh, the prophets of old when they came in telling them, "You're doing wrong. You're doing wrong. God don't like what you're doing." Get thee out of here! You're talking about uh, the monarchies of the past. Talking about people. No, not people. It, people. They people don't and know. people running the country that are part of the royal family, so to speak, quote unquote, royal family. Well, back then they had tried. You had uh, like cities. like King Herod, you know, of ancient mm -hmm. history. King Herod only worked on wait, the Romans. Wait for this thing to. King Herod only worked under the Romans. He was not a king in that sense that he was a king. He was a puppet ruler, That's right? correct. I'm talking about in the past 
you had mostly monarchies of different sorts. From Nimrod, from the Nim first king. From, from Nimrod to modern civilization, in between all, for, for thousands of years, hundreds of years, you had monarchies, okay. yeah, which are totalitarian dictatorships. Yes! Except in Scandinavia. I already, What's that woman's name? I already know the Vikings in Scandinavia. No, 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 the queen over there. They got a queen in Scandinavia or in Denmark or whatever the hell it is. You know, she's kind of... Uh, Denmark? I, I know King Oscar on the sardine King. can. King Oscar's on the sardine can. King Oscar sardines. I don't know about any other monarchy. All I hear, all I see online are pictures of Elizabeth the second, right? Yeah, but her too. I mean, she's, she's impotent too. But the, the kings and queens in, in most places, uh, unless they're dictators, <laughs> they don't have much power. But they used to they have used all, to. They used all, to the have all the power. Oh, yeah. Every war, a one back then was won by such and such a king. No, it was won, won by your foot soldiers. The grunts! But the history books have it. King so-and-so won the war of such-and-such. Such. There are definitely people today that fit that description. Who um, succeed off the blood, sweat, and tears of others and take all the credit for it. Would you say that Bill Gates fell into that population? Yeah, yeah. And now he wants to... He wants to do something good and and help the world through Monsanto and with with vaccines and other things. Yeah, he, he seems to have a deal with Monsanto. Did you see that sign the guy was holding up yesterday on Facebook? Monsanto does not want to feed the world. No. Monsanto wants to control. They want to the control. Food. They want to control the food supply of the world. They, they do not want to feed the world. And Nestle's, the scumbag CEO of Nestle's, wants to control the world's drinking water oh. supplies by buying up all the aquifers. California is in a huge drought right now. Yeah, well, that's how the forest fires start. Yeah. Well, actually, it was started by a couple of guys with a campfire. The last one, or whatever. This one. Right? Now, speaking of California. There seems to be a problem with the legal growers of medicinal marijuana and the illegal growers. Of course, the legal growers have a permit on a on a signpost. They have they have to display permits. Now, this is what for medical use only. Uh, I know you see, th this is legal. what the sheriff of that county was saying. It's, it becomes very tricky to tell the difference of who should be raided and busted and... And that's because there's a federal law against... That, yeah, in other words, there's local and then there's federal. Because Colorado now it's legal. Which makes it easy. Except when it goes against the federal law. And because what, federal law takes precedence over state law. So, let me guess, the feds are still backwards in thinking that marijuana should remain illegal. Is that what you Yes, saying? they should still carry on that, uh, that, um, failure called the drug war. The failure of the war on drugs and, the, and, and, the, and of course, prostitution should be illegal in the federal eyes and, uh, did you see that? Well, that's because that's immoral. Well, it's nobody's business what a woman does with her body. What a woman does with her body. It's not in a damn business. I know. But if they get power in states and etc. or in the federal government, then it is their say that goes into the laws. Did you, see? you see what Alec does? Why I didn't write any of them stinking laws. Why don't people? But Alec did. But why don't people in America wake up and get involved? Go to the town meetings. Boy, if we knew the answer to that. Go to the town meetings in in, 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 in massive amounts and 
and and uh, holler over there. Did you see that statement that uh, Judge um, uh, Grace uh, Nancy Grace Nancy Grace Judge Nancy Grace made about marijuana that it leads to violent behavior? I never heard that. What I know about marijuana and some of the people who've been on it for years and years is, is that they go sit in the corner somewhere and they mellow out. And they mellow out. They, li they uh, Jesse they Ventura mellow. says they they listen to a, a a Jimi Hendrix CD and they'll, they'll sit in the corner and and or they'll watch be their quiet. hand for hours. <laughs> it's alcoholism and and uh, exactly and and hardcore drug abuse violence. Yes. Yeah, but not. Not marijuana. She's talking out of her fat ass. Nancy she's talking Grace. talking points that were given to her by some right wing nut. Well, she's a right wing nut too of from course. the south. What do you expect? She's like those idiots on Fox News, for God's sakes. What the hell? Ha hassle, hassle, hassle bitch, hassle fuck. What's her name Hasselbeck. again? Hasselbeck. Elizabeth. I got her mixed up with Hasselhoff there. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Hasselbeck is ranting about something about. Uh, uh, men are not traditional men anymore. They're wussies, and oh, women, yeah. women are lesbians, or women are the feminists. She's knocking the, she's knocking the feminists, and she's knocking men today because men are not men anymore. They have been feminized. Now, what, what does she want? She wants like Wyatt Earp. She wants to be drug around by the hair into his cave and raped, my friend, with ferocity. Ferocity? I thought she, I always thought she was like, because she acted, she has such a snippy uh, be, uh, 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 mouth on her, such a rude, you know, sharp tongue on the, when she was on The View. I thought she was a feminist, but it turns out she's really not. Not at all. Well, I, I don't like these traditional stereotypical roles. Well, that's what they are. They, uh, you know, because the, the old time roles for men were unfair because men had all the responsibilities for everything on their shoulders. Yeah. Which I think is very unfair. Well, the point everything. is, you know, uh, once we moved from the land, I went to the big city to get a job. We lost our freedom. True. So today we have private industry right. providing us with survival jobs because we have no security anymore in the land. So, I think it's about time in America yeah. to have an annual income and do away with all these SNAP, WIC, all these programs. Yeah, and replace... You provide someone... And replace with what? With a guaranteed annual income they can handle these things themselves. I don't like the I don't like going on salary. Because then a company can make you work long hours. What the hell are you talking about? The guy a country a company. I'm talking about the federal government providing an annual income. To whom? To everyone that deserves it in America. Right now, the last the, the, the Isn't last that thing, communism? The last thing I saw up on Facebook to do away with poverty in America was 175 billion dollars. The last figures I saw was 135 billion dollars. It is money well spent, my friend. All you do is to eradicate poverty, which includes homelessness, is you simply end all corporate welfare, number one. You trim the military, the defense budget, you take all the, the bloat and the waste out of it. And uh, but how do you direct? That and you uh, you tax the rich. You you shift the burden from the middle class you back, still have back not, to the rich. You still have not provided for that poor person. 
in doing all that. Well, you've got the money you, for it now. You want to you want to end the programs, but you know what? Why the need programs, the programs do a lot of good when they're when Why they're, do we need them if you are now a a a a, 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 a justified How well with the, your security? How and well money? is this annual this so-called annual income you're talking about? Is the pay going to be enough to eliminate SNAP and food stamps and everything else in WIC? One country, I'm is not it? sure which it is, Switzerland, wants it to be $30,000. I don't know if that's, a, that's not enough in the United States to pay for everything. Maybe it's not. We can adjust those figures. The point is that it obviously has to be well above the poverty line. Well, the poverty line uh, today is what, 20... 21 or 22,000 for a family of four. Family... Four. Oh, a family of four. That's correct. So what, did, what are they saying? If, so what if about a single person? A single person making 21 or 22,000 is considered okay? That's I don't correct. think so. That's correct. Uh, yes, yes. Where are you going to live? Don't you worry about those things. Those are things are not. Those things are not figured with the rents. With those things. The rents are, are in this area are like at least a thousand dollars for a fourteen hundred, sixteen hundred for one bedroom. What a thousand? You're back in the, the the Stone Age for a one bed. Let's say a one bedroom. The point is, they don't include those things in those figures. Okay. So how do you accurately come up with a you figure? You can't. Now? That's why people stay in poverty when they're on SNAP or when they're on welfare they, they, or etc. Because there's never enough provided. They give a few crumbs, like my grandfather said, you get a few crumbs. Right. Just enough to keep your nostrils above the water level. That's correct. That's, so that's it. That's why if you had a guaranteed annual income, you could provide those things for yourself. If self sufficient if the figure if the amount is is sufficiently the amount accurate can be whatever the you know what Congress decides. They gotta work. You gotta have the programs for the you poor. Know? You gotta have the programs for the poor. They are keeping people poor. You're throwing this I'm making people wealthy. You're, you're you're throwing this figure at me that's that's not enough money, I'm sorry. I just said that the Congress will decide what figure it is. Not oh they're gonna decide? Yeah. Well, hopefully, I better hope the Congress is. I hope the Democrats who take back the Congress the when this happens. Well, obviously, but who do you think that makes the laws in this country? The you, the Republicans. You don't make the laws. The Republican, the Republicans Jeez. won't give you any anything. Fine. Zero. But that doesn't stop the program. That doesn't cease the thinking and putting it into action. That's because we still have a Democrat majority Senate. And Obama in the White House. Actually, it, there are only 53 Democrats in the Senate and two independents. Okay. Two, which caucus with the Democrats. But uh, there are 45. I think Bernie Sanders is one of them. Bernie Sanders is one. There are 45 Republicans. Oh, that many. And when we have the election. Oh, boy. Let me guess. All the uh, the nitwits, the red state nitwits, voted them into. Well, somebody did, and obviously in New Jersey, uh, a lot of Democrats voted for the cuddly bear. I am not a bully. Well, they they were stupid enough to believe the uh, commercials that made Chris Christie look like a hero of Hurricane Sandy. Just like Bush was made to look like a hero of 9/11, which is totally ridiculous. Uh, 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 the the only things. What about Giuliani? Giuliani is another one that was pegged as a hero. I mean, when Giuliani croaks, on his tombstone will be Mister 911. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they they they, they still. They're still missing uh, Hurricane Sandy relief money. That's correct. And and, and the, some of the money, uh, some of it, the money is going to cronies of Mr. Christie and his administration. Yeah, he he didn't really. He only helped 
the businesses on the boardwalk on the Jersey Shore. He did the not show help. Stuff. The he, show stuff. He, yeah, photo op stuff. Yeah. He didn't help. The, the people who lost their homes did not receive any help. And the last time I heard him, what he said was, <clears throat> well, you have to fill out those forms, and then you have to wait. They've been waiting over a year. Where do you live? In a tree house while you're waiting? In a shelter? And by the way, the $25 million that went for that stupid Stronger Than a Storm ad could have instituted the rebate program in New Jersey for the elderly and the disabled. You mean that? But it went to that stupid commercial. Those annoying commercials cost that much. That's correct. Collectively. And, and what was the purpose of it, though? A to another make look good. Another company underbid that. They were not accepted because you know why? Why? Because Christie and family were not in that commercial. Oh, Christie! See, Christie had to look really. He had to look good. The commercial had to be PR. Uh, a political thing. That's what happened. Yeah, he he he. Uh, um, it worked. <laughs> part of the commercial. It worked. Had Chris Christie on the beach, saying, "New Jersey." I'll feel your pain. No, he didn't say I'll feel. I'll Aye, feel but he made it. To, he made it. He, he says we're it. stronger than the storm. He hugged people. You're not stronger than a storm. Mother Nature will take you out as soon as you think you're stronger than a storm. And Gary Knoll said, that's the tip of the iceberg. Sandy is only the tip of the iceberg. We met, yeah, it was only a tropical storm. With No, we with climate change. It, 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 we're, we're going to receive worse But the storms. Republicans don't believe in climate change. When, when was the last time... Uh, I, I don't pay attention to what, they, what their perception of life is, because if they can't back it up with facts, I don't believe them. What if they can back it up with power? The, uh, uh, when was the last time you heard thunder in the middle of the night? In, I did, the other day. In January. I heard it last night. Was it last night? I heard thunder last night. You must have been sleeping. I didn't get much sleep last night. Well... I, I usually don't get that much sleep, but I mean, I hear thunder in the winter time. I heard it either last night or a day, uh, a day or two ago. Okay. Perception that can't be proven with fact is worthless. That's all. Oh yeah, if you have the power to make that statement, if hey, you if have the, the megaphone to make that if statement. If a CEO, if a CEO, is spouting nonsense. He's the CEO of the corporation, but he's still spouting nonsense. They were spouting nonsense on Wall Street all those years until 2007, 2008, well, and, it, and the f shit hit the fan. What were they talking about that was nonsensical? The way to do business. Well, we all know they're crooks over there. Greed. I'm it's talking good. about ridiculous shit like wait, what you hear on Fox News. What 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 the people on Fox News talk about? Your Ann Coulter's, your but Hasselbecks. There's bigger, there's bigger fish to fry. Than Rush that. Limbaugh's statements. Well, yeah, that's true. Rush Limbaugh said the other day, according to the Daily Kos, that when Clarence Thomas and Anita Hill had their little baruha, he knew Clarence Thomas was truthful. Because of his character. No, because he was a Republican. Conservative character. Oh, just He just, didn't have to have any facts. Just for that reason. Just for that reason. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why people in red states vote for a Republican and never a Democrat. Because they are the Republicans are not baby killers. They're not second But they humans. can't prove anything that's in their heads. Hey. What kind of a bizarro world are we living in? We're living in uh, 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 the Grand Canyon. When you go to the Grand Canyon... You hear echoes? You're going to see pamphlets over here about creationism. Uh, you know what I tell them? Go fuck yourself. I don't well, want your here. pamphlet. They're here. I don't want your pamphlet. Hey, we got, we got uh, 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 in New Jersey... We got money going. Oh, 
throughout the country. We have money going to faith-based initiatives. Okay? Now, what about the taxpayers in America that are not of that faith? They're not represented, obviously. Why they should, don't get their way. Not one penny should go towards any religious uh, organization or but religious it is. purpose. But I don't. Thank you, George. But there, but there are. But that religion is a cult that they're talking about. Everyone is a cult, as far as Christianity so is they're, concerned. They're if it is not biblical. Well, hey, if they're giving billions in free money to to billionaires, then millionaires and billionaires, if they're giving free welfare to them. Then I guess what, what what's another uh, small fortune for a cult? Yeah, but they earned all that money. Why do you keep on saying you you saw you're playing devil's advocate all the time? Why are you giving them a little a little slack that they don't deserve? Well, that's what they say. Who cares what they perceive and what they say? Why do you keep on playing devil's advocate? You know you know well, it riles gonna... me up. Exactly. And how are you going to counter that, Mr. With facts. DiBiase? With facts. My name isn't DiBiase. You, uh, well, your attitude is. No, your attitude, because you keep on raising your voice to win every debate. It has nothing to do with it. I'm not debating you. What is it that debate? You, you keep on saying they got power, they got power, I'm they got power, they got power. I'm showing you another perspective. Only that, that that can be proven. How do you counter that? That can be proven. Is How do you counter that? They earned their money, they said. No, say. they don't. They didn't earn their money. That's just you saying something. What does that mean? What about them? What about what they say? Exactly. It's their word against my exactly. word. Exactly. But guess what? But guess what? Nine times out of ten, the progressive word is based with fact and backed up. Where's the power? Where's the power? You know, sometimes I think... Satan uses him as a puppet, puts his hand up his Maybe ass. Maybe it's the other way around. You got your hand up Satan's puppet? I mean, no. Satan's puppet? Satan's what? using you. Because I'm because saying... these ideas... But I'm thinking logic. ...are garbage. I'm thinking, no, they're not. Yes, they are. If the progressive can back it up with proof, and scientific proof, and, and not just theory, and the Republican Where? backs it up with because we Where? say so, or because we perceive this, where You're the this, one that's not making where sense. Where is this backup coming from? What, on Facebook? No, nine times out of ten. Well, I'll give you an example. When Joe Biden and Barack Obama debated Good. Mitt Romney and, uh, and the other the other puppet Muppet face. Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan. They came up with a lot of factual evidence. When Barbara Bono de debated Chris Christie twice, she came up with a lot of factual evidence. Who saw a lot of it? Who saw the debates? I don't know. Besides me, I don't. I don't, I don't exactly. know. Exactly. I don't know who watched it. Exactly. So who had the power? There's a, there's a good chance a lot of people didn't watch the debates. They didn't. Who had the power? It's all about power. The power. Who has the bigger megaphone? What do you think Roger Ailes? Now, what do you want to do? What do you intend on doing about it? You don't want. You don't want to protest. You don't want to boycott. What do you want to do? Protest. You don't want a war. You don't want a civil war. Protest. What do you want to do? Were curtailed with Occupy Wall Street. Of course, they were blocking protest. traffic and they were harassing people on. on no, the they weren't. Why are you blaming them? You were blaming them. They were in the right. What were they doing? As they were, they were doing nothing. They were getting high, they were hanging out. You just said that that's their right to do that. Well, in private. Peaceful protesting is not bothering anybody, but they claim. Well, wait a minute. They then, claim that. Why did that, that policeman spray the, the pepper? They were peaceful. Come on, you got ideas that are idealistic, they don't happen in the real world. Well, then there's only way. There's only one way to deal with unfairness and corruption, and people that say, "I have the money, therefore I make up the rules." And yes. There's only one way to deal with that, and that's to cut the tumor out manually with a scalpel. How do you do it? You get people together and learn that they form a militia, and learn how to use an AK-47. What is your answer then? What is your solution? 
Well, Do, if you go I'm, to... I'm all ears. What is your solution? If you go to the Bible, there is no solution. Oh, okay. Yeah, but Until the words, coming just, of Christ. Just be a passive pussy with no balls and just lay there and say, abuse me, rip me off. Here I am. I'm, I'm a liberal with no spine because God, Jesus is going to come back a second time and he's going to take care of everything. But when is he going to come back? Progressive with a small megaphone. Now, what do you do with that? You, you collectively, the, the liberals, the progressives, and the Democrats go to people like Bernie Sanders and people like that, go to the media and say, demand equal time, instead of being always, instead of always, they don't have to give you shit, the media. Well, well what about, what about uh, unbiased fairness in, in journalism? It ain't here anymore. So, that world is gone. So because of money, because of money, then a person that has the money can say, uh, I could be unfair if I want, and uh, we are going to run a biased, crony type government. Citizens United said that the corporations, money is speech. So the more right. money I have, the more speech I get. That sounds like and a you get that, that sounds like a spoiled child that doesn't want to share his toys, taking a tantrum. But that's the country you're in. All right, uh, you get garbage. I control the media because they have the money, that's and they pay people off, and they're that's in bed great. with the corp corporatists. That's great. And uh, that's it. That's now, it. as far as I know, liberals, progressives, whatever you want to call them, Don't. they try to fight this conservative domination of the airways. Yeah. And I believe, as far as I can tell, there was a station here in New Jersey, a liberal station, uh, way up at the right of the dial, called WWRL. I remember that. It is off the air. Best I can tell, it now is Espanol. It has always been like that. Liberal stations you just can't make it against a conservative onslaught. Oh, Go then anywhere. Just, just Oh, you know what? Your debate, you debate me, ate up a lot of time. What time is it? Oh, look. Almost three. Fuck. I wanted to get the readings in earlier. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and I'm not even mad because of the cats. The cats are innocent. The cats didn't do nothing. What the hell is that? So, well, you know what? So we'll just lay here like pussies, let them ram it up our ass with no lubrication, and just become the type of liberal like they had the the the, the love the flower children of the 60s that there didn't they didn't want to fight they don't want to be militant they don't want to take their their sit their country back they just sit there and get high and go oh peace and love and and, uh, and all this crap there might be other answers and be victimized you are not allowing yourself to discover other answers. I'm not, I refuse to be a passive. But a the passive. answers we have now are inadequate. I suggest you go to the first reading. It's getting late. Why? This is a have, very interesting we have readings. subject. We have readings. So? Well, that means you're going to have subject. double the readings next time. So? You'll never get through them. I'm not worried about getting through them. If you got a subject that is important, you beat it to death. Uh, no, because the uh, the well, you don't happen to like it. The topic of the week happens to be Chris Christie's Bridgegate. Really? Not. I mean, not. Well, not we didn't have no topic yet. Uh, uh, on national news, it's been about the 20 people that got that will be subpoenaed. Is the latest I've heard. Big 20 deal. People. Huh? Big deal. Subpoenaed for what? Nobody knows anything yet. I find it fascinating. I find it fascinating to wait until things develop. Well, yes. You yes. don't go off half cocked on things. Uh, don't you have a uh, an underlying wish that Christie? No. 
Is I don't. Even, I don't even think about Christy. Why would I worry and think about Christy? Because you're, you're not a person who's uh, has to receive uh, 140 dollars a month. The poor poor souls on welfare. That's and, not his job. And getting a few. Welfare is a federal thing, correct? The 140 a month has nothing. It comes from the state, doesn't it? It's federal, as far as I know. It is run by the county. Okay. It is, maybe it's a block grant from Reagan or whoever knows what, how they do it these days. You mean the funding that goes the to The funding, that. correct. So it might not even be Christie. No. No, why would it be Christie? Why would it be Christie? Because yeah. I was, I assumed that welfare came from the state. Even so, what has Christie said about it? He hasn't said anything about that sort of stuff. Well, move. it's not a priority of his. Put anything. The recent George Washington Bridge scandal yeah. is an embarrassment to the Christie administration. However, what people fail to realize is that our illustrious leader has always been a vindictive person who does everything in his power to retaliate against those who don't endorse him. He's a boon. He's a boon boy. Isn't that what you have been preaching here tonight? Today? No. The, the, his, his way of... They're the goons. The Republicans no, 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 are no, the no, goons. No, 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 no. You the want way, to be passive and just... The way to deal with things. You want to do the same thing. Retaliate. Kill. But you can't, you can't negotiate with a, with a criminal I or, told or you a terrorist. There may be other answers. It can't be negotiated there with. There may be other answers. You still don't want a, a war. In Christie's first term, he immediately went out to the state's teachers' union. And quite frankly, what Christie did to the teachers was a lot more abusive than this bridge story. Yeah. Teachers are still demonized by this bully of a government and are struggling to make ends meet. Yet people believe him when he says teachers are the reason why their property taxes are so high. The teachers of Patterson have now been without a contract for three and a half years with no real decent proposal on the table yet. Yeah. But it's funny that the closure of three lanes on the George Washington Bridge is what is causing Christie to finally fall to his knees. Well, not quite, but almost, almost. I truly hope that Christie's record has been blemished severely and pray that impeachment proceedings begin. Yeah, but then his lieutenant governor will probably take over another Republican. What I just wonder is, why did it take so long? Well, he, I agree with the person as far as wishing the demise of uh, Krispy Kreme, Chris Christie. I mean, I, I agree with that. But like, like Dr. Bill says, let us wait. It just started. Let us wait to see what develops with the subpoena. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take uh, subpoena. Subpoena, see how, subpoena us, plural. We're going to take a break. It's time for Dr. Bill's uh, a gastronomic delight known as lunch. And uh, we will be back, or I will be back, with William H. Morrill III, our uh, commercial voiceover artist, and on location. So. We will be back. But, but anyway, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be unbiased news and uh, not slanted towards one way, like you said, like Fox News or uh, MSNBC. Well, like said, they're, they're like rank amateurs, really. CNN to me and his sister network is excellent, HLN. 
It's equally as professional. What's the name of the sister network? HLN, Headline News Network. Oh, I, didn't, I never heard of you that. You didn't know that? No. <coughs> They're great. Check them out. It's 59. Yeah. You have cable vision? Absolutely, 59. yeah. 59. Yeah. 59. Now tell me what you, you, we were talking about these, these insane, these insane, ridiculous, frivolous lawsuits. That, that man. Tell me the story about. Just real quick, as a coach, a little league baseball coach. Uh huh. His, one of his little players was rounding third base, running home with a winning run, waving his hands in the air. You know, kids take their helmets and throw it up in the air. Threw it up in the air, hit the ground, bounce, hit the coach in the ankle. He said it hurt his ankle. He's suing the kid for five hundred thousand dollars <laughs> plus one hundred thousand dollars. He's claiming in lost wages. Salary. So he basically got a boo boo. This is going to get lost. He basically got a basically got a boo boo, and he's trying to he's trying to. Uh, uh, so, so what? This comes with a game, the territory. Uh, yeah, of course. It's part of it. I mean, it's uh, a freak accident. Yeah. I mean, uh, it hit him. It, it hit him in the ankle. Now how far? How high up how could hard, a kid? How hard can it? Be? How, how, how high up right. could a kid throw? How high can it go? And what's the impact after yeah. hitting the ground, which lessens the blow and it bounces into your ankle? Let's cut wait, the, wait, wait! Excuse me. Not only did a child throw the helmet up in the air, yeah. but it ricocheted off the ground. Yeah, threw it up, hit, boom, hit him in the. And then hit him in the ankle. Well, even if it didn't. But how? How? how, how it what you? kind of an impact could that have been? Um, you know, if people are out of their mind with uh, Wrap it with an ace and do your job if it hurts. And whatever happened I think to it, I think it's a fake, a fraud. Whatever happened to uh, just suck it up and play the game? It comes with the territory. Well, most guys do. This guy obviously is a wuss and he's out to make a buck. He's probably hoping for a small settlement. Hey, I'll make ten grand or so probably. He's trying to you know And of course his lawyer his lawyer yeah. takes the case, right? Mm, sure. Sure. It's incredible. It's well, ridiculous. I remember years ago the guy in New York a burglar going through the roof of a skylight fell through the skylight and right. broke his leg and he sued the owner of the store and he won. But he's a burglar. But he won. But he's lucky he didn't get shot at breaking but and entering. But he won though. Well, who the hell, what judge gave that, him? Exactly. Oh, what judge awarded it? Say, I don't know the name, but yeah. they say, you were breaking into this man, that's breaking an entry. Well, even the, old la even the old lady that spilled the coffee on her lap at McDonald's, the same thing. What judge in his right mind would award this old, old, this old bag millions of What's dollars for spilling the coffee? The girl's going to shave... Uh, the cutters. Uh, cut, cutters over their lady Gillette shaving her legs and sue Gillette now? Hey, I'm serious. Don't laugh. Somebody will do that. You know, and that she depends on her legs for her livelihood. Blah blah. blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how many times I spill hot beverage on my skin, and and the epidermis never peeled off. What if your tooth came out chewing gum? You're gonna chew Wrigley because your uh, the gum was too sticky, or the bubbles aren't big enough. Or 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 somebody chews on caramel. It takes the filling. It's, what it takes yeah, the filling out of the tooth. Sugar daddies or something. Yeah. Yeah. What, what was that? Yeah, it was sticky as hell. Sugar daddy. Is it sugar daddy? Two bees too. Or gummy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, 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 yeah, exactly. It's, it's insane. And you know, you know what's more insane than the people, the judges that award them money. They're the people with the real lawsuit are the ones that have trouble. Like my, I, my eyesight will never be the same again. You have to wait longer because of all the nonsense that are in the courts. My sight will never be the same no, again. Right. But I'm legitimate. I asked ask for us to get hit hard on the highway and rear-ended like that. I, no, no, your your no. your case is legitimate, and and the people well, with I, legitimate lawsuits I wasn't have to even wait. Going to sue Jimmy because I don't sue people. I didn't even think about it. My friends all said you've got to sue. But you, really. yeah, I but said, you, should, you should get restitution well, for losing your eyes. That's what they said. They partially said, your eyesight. You, you almost went blind. Luckily, you got restored. Your sight will never ever be the same. You need to sue. And I said, well, okay. So I inquired. I wasn't going to sue. People talked me into it. I don't go about, hey, I can make a buck here. I don't think that way. No, but you, know? you because you were put through this uh, this stress, uh, uh, loss of eyesight, um, loss of your your lens, right? Your 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 original lens was removed. No, 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 no. This happened after I had the cataract surgery with the insertion lens. That's in there still. Oh, okay. Because to reattach the retina, I had a fully detached retina. Oh, you had a detached retina. Fully detached. Oh, okay. They said it was so loose, it was gone. It was just floating around in the right. back, just floating. Right. And that's why my sight was gradually getting darker and darker. Wow. When I and this covered. is this is the thing that that all these frivolous, insane lawsuits that are absolutely asinine are bogging down the court system and people who really have 
cases where they Legit need the money, legitimate, legitimate cases where they, they, they need the money, they deserve the compensation, uh, have to wait a long time for their case. Now, we were talking about a, a, a very important subject on how scammers like to prey on senior citizens. Uh, lottery. Yeah. You didn't play the lottery, but you won. And yet these older people fall for it, and they ask them for upfront money. Hey, if I won, the duck could send me the check. If I won four, if I won twenty million dollars, and you say I have to send you four hundred dollars, send me, send me nineteen million six hundred thousand. Deduct your fee. Deduct your fee. Send me the balance. And send the, the balance. But how did I win, sir? I didn't enter your lottery. But if you really won, why do you have to send a fee? That's why, the why do you have to send somebody? I'll to show you the article. I saved it for you. And not only that, they ask. They know a lot of seniors are, are lonely, and they want somebody to talk to. And they ask them for their personal information. So they try to do. Well, they them. also disguise it by making it look official, like a U.S. organization, too. Now. You know what? You know what's a very popular well, scam? Saying that, but remind me, police, go ahead. You know what's a very popular scam? When you get a something in email that looks. Like, like the official. the authentic home page uh, of yeah. PayPal or Bank of America yeah. or whatever, a, f a fake Bank of America email came well, in, police and I reported it. And they, of America too, watch out for. No, they told me it wasn't them. Bank of America, or was it? I think it was PayPal too. They told me no, this is not us. This yeah. is a scam. That's right. Sending you a facsimile right. of our home page. So what happens? They ask you for to submit your personal information again. And why would they want my personal information again when they already have it? Of course not. Why would you ask for it a second time if you already have it? I got that with a PBA once. National PBA police would never look at yeah. this Wanted donations, blah, 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 blah. And I was told by my friends who were cops to always say this, and it worked. I said, I said, Hoss, I'm sorry. I already gave to my local chapter here in Ridgewood. Click, he hung up. Oh, really? Didn't that, say anything for that him. Quick. He knew get. Because he knew he couldn't get to me. I said, I already gave to my uh, my local chapter here in Ridgewood. So he probably has a whole, a whole thousands yes. of, oh, yeah, yeah, thousands sure. of numbers to call. Yeah. And uh, this is what happens. And they just, uh, they, 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 it's easy pickings to approach the elderly because they know. They seem to revert back to like being childlike. They believe yeah. everything. You know, it's sad. Everything, anything that sounds good, you win. You won big. You won big. Well, well, don't you question? Don't you wonder? Did your mama? Did you ever ask your mom? Mom, you didn't play or enter How could you? I say. Won? I tell her all the time. And what did she say? She goes, I, I was picked randomly because they said so. I says, how do you know? How do you know you were picked randomly? Yeah, like the Australian lottery, the, uh, uh, what's the other, Irish sweepstakes. Well, she was in a, she she entered a fake Canadian lottery. Canadian lottery is very Canadian. And they famous. got caught. They yeah, got caught. There's a lot of Canadian fake lottery. I've gotten mail from them in the past, but it's been a well over 15 or yeah. more years since. If you didn't, listen, if you didn't play, how on earth could you be in it? Yeah, we know you didn't enter, so we played for you, and guess what? You won. They contact me all the time, yeah. telling me that I have a, uh, I had a, I have a very rich relative who died in Nigeria, and I'm. I'm well, the Nigerians, they're the worst. Oh, so you did hear from Nigeria? Why do I look like I have relatives in Nigeria? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you really do. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Nigeria is one of the worst. It's been Ghana, in Ghana, in Ghana. That, well, that was, yeah. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. They actually train these people on how to hack and how to how to trick people into giving their personal information. I know. Yeah. They have schools that teach people, teach kids how to pickpocket in, uh, yeah. in even in Europe. You well, know, they hack too. It just mine contains phlegm. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who is this guy? He, says, I'll be, he called me outside. He said, I'll be there in about five or ten minutes. That was 15 minutes ago or so. I told you, you know. Yeah. But anyway, it's really a shame that today there seems to be more scamming than ever before. Well, it's easier. It's electronic now as well. That's why they do it. Yeah, they, it's and, a they, lot easier. and you know what? I know for a fact that people in third world countries, they, they, they learn how to hack. Anybody that gets a computer, they, you know, they're desperate, so they learn fast. But yeah. maybe hacking, hacking is the only way they can really make a decent amount of money. By stealing, yeah. Because their their governments are so corrupt, you know, and and uh, 
just like with, with Chris Christie, there's the, the missing Hurricane Sandy money uh, yeah. with the bridge yeah. gate. You know? I still, we won't discuss it too much now, but my question is if you, I had no idea this was going on, Christy said. Well, if you're accountable, you should know everything going on in your state. If you don't know what's going on in your state, how could you possibly run the most powerful nation on the planet as president? But how how could I'm, how uh, how could a how could one of his staff members that he works closely with take it upon him or herself? Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. Wouldn't they say to close down uh, the lanes, Chris or Governor? What? How about this? Well, let's do this. Blah, blah, blah. They disrespected their so-called friend so much to go behind his back and do that, and he didn't know. Now, wouldn't he? If it was me, said, hey, I got an idea. Why don't we close down the lanes? Blah, blah, blah. What do you think? You mean they went right on their own, right behind his back, and did this? It's highly unlikely. Yeah, no question. It's highly unlikely. And and still, what happened to what happened to that to the Sandy, the Storm Sandy money? The, uh, well, Jimmy, any kind of money, bailout money, there's always a lot that disappears. Foreign aid, billions of dollars, never gets allocated to the aid to the poor, starving children and these African nations and whatever, whatever. Their and government confiscates the money. Exactly. Even when we sat down, sat down. They do it in Colombia, South America. They do it. In yeah, that's the point. If you don't know what's going on... How can you run a nation? How can you run a nation? Oh, I didn't know that was going on either. Where, what do you mean? What, what war? <laughs> I mean, you yeah. know what's next? And oh, like I was going to say, third world countries like Colombia, South America, that all charity oh, money big, disappears, it another, vanishes. Another thing in the news today, how about the big thing CNN uncovered? These missile silos, you know, high, highly high-tech operators. A number of these people have been demoted and taken off their jobs because they cheated on their training tests. Really? And these are defending... This is defending our nation in these missile silos. Right. Cheated. Cheating scandal at the Air Force. You know, a academics is dumbed down, you know. Well, the main thing is I give great credit to all these journalists that are uncovering these stories. Too, and Ethic letting the public know what's going yeah, on around ethical, here. Yeah, uh, you know? the ethics uh, issue is, is totally gone down. Work ethic, everything. Honesty, integrity, everything's gone downhill. Just so I get. Just so I get. Well, look at Snowden. Look at Snowden. He, and, uh, to me, what... That's great. He blew, he's a whistleblower, yeah. but he's, they call him a traitor. A traitor? He, his idea is, I thought the public should know. I he, no, or thought, I feel the public should know. Yeah. Why shouldn't we know? We're being spied upon? Come off of it. Now your phone emits signals and trips and your shopping habits around the store where you are, what you're buying. So he was doing he was doing the American public people a public a favor uh -huh. by telling them what the government the was doing. Know, beware, and this has got to stop. Yeah, it's really a shame. It's really a shame. Now the um, the other popular story that we have, William H. Moore the third, of course, is uh, uh, should cheating, uh, you know, sports en enhancement drugs, anabolic steroids, be allowed in professional sports? Of course, the answer to me is no, because it's cheating. Now Alex Rodriguez and his uh, cohort that supplied it and injected him, of course, is uh, trying to uh, justify it by saying that. Everybody's doing it, so uh, not everybody, but I'm sure. Yeah, great, a great percentage of us. Great percentage. Majority, I would guess, estimate. But but instead of coming down on one man, they have to do uh, much yeah. stricter drug yeah. testing with everybody. You know, yes, it is cheating. Yes, everybody else. And make sure banned substance. You know. Like I said, many athletes didn't know it was in the prescribed drug for an ailment they had. They right. didn't know this, because a lot of things do contain elements of steroids. But a guy gets a prescription, the doctor says, here, take this. I didn't know this. What do you mean it's illegal? I didn't know. I'm taking this for inflammation or this or that. The doctor said it was fine. You well, tell me it's a banned substance now. I mean, right. Well, if it, well pre under prescription, it's fine. No, no, even then. That, no, but if you're going to be an athlete, you have to disclose this information. You know what I mean? Well, I would lie. If it was me from now on, these guys are going to have to call the, the league office or, yeah. or their training staff or whatever. So here's what's in this drug I'm taking from the doctor. Am I okay with this? Yeah. I'm going to have to get the okay. That's the best one. Okay. Oh, this is all with Ken Sigler's book, but steroids is across the board in almost every sport. I'm sure I'm sure you'll see it in soccer. Uh, I'm sure probably, possibly, I don't know, tennis. Again, you don't see a big muscular definition there. And then again, what's what's there's so many differences between steroids, growth hormone, uh, you know, male testosterone. I mean, what's all the differences here?
they, they're <coughs> all they're all synthetic forms of testosterone. Well, they are. And then you know, but what about then? You had the, the your proteins and whey powders and this and that. And they're supposed to enhance performance as well. These are things you can buy in a in a in a, in a, in a vitamin shop. Arginine, ornithine. Ornithine. They're, well, they're supposed to be growth growth amino acids. They call them secretagogues. Yes. So what's the difference there? Why aren't they illegal? They, you know who made them popular? Dirk Pearson and Sandy Shaw. Yeah, for the life extension. Life back, extension. Uh, book, yes. Book they had out in about thirty years ago. Yeah. But the uh, point point is that uh, Rodriguez told his his friend there that um, he wanted to, he wanted to create the 800 club, meaning he wanted his goal was to hit 800 home runs, yeah. but he wanted to do it through steroid use, which is cheating. You know why? Yeah. Why? How could you claim to beat Hank Aaron's, or, or uh, I'm talking about Barry Bonds would, claiming would, he would, beat Hank Aaron's record? Wouldn't you question yourself too? Was I really that good, or was I enhanced? You know, was I? Is this my natural ability, or? There should be a disclaimer. Are these drugs maybe bringing out what you have inside of you? You just don't know how to utilize. Well, how could how so could one? How do we look at this? How could one be in the uh, in Cooperstown in the Hall of Fame and look yourself in the mirror, knowing that you cheated to hit 800 home runs? I mean, it's it's it. I it would bother the hell out of me. Well, a lot of it too. You have to look at these guys before they started all the juice. Uh, I know Al Zeno, I believe, when he was in college. Well, when he was with the Raiders, he was, I think, almost 300 or 300 plus pounds. I believe he was 170 something in college. Same with Mark McGuire. If you remember him as Rookie or the A's, he was a stick. Right. He was thin as a rail. All of a sudden, this guy balloons up. Right. Sammy Sosa, the same thing. But you didn't see Rafael Palmero balloon up, if you think about No, it. he did not balloon Barry up. Barry Bonds did. His head even changed shape. Yeah, Barry Bonds got... Uh, but yeah. Rafael Palmero did not. He seemed to be really uh, burnt of the stake. But he didn't uh, look muscular and, you know... He was with the Texas Rangers and then later be, joined the Orioles. Well, he was originally with the Chicago Cubs and the oh, Texas okay. Rangers and the Orioles, yes. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I liked him. He was a great player for us. Some people, I, well, I think genetics has a lot to do with how big you're going to get on steroids. Uh, depending how much you take of steroids, now too. Your dosages. And which ones you're taking, too. They're all different kinds. And of course, the more you take, the, the, the more, more at risk. Yeah, the more, the more at risk. your organs shutting down or die, uh, dying. Or well, I hear with growth hormone, it's, it's possible for your internal organs to actually grow. And get, and get too big for your body. Yeah, so now what? That's the point. Now what? Now what? There's no turning back once the damage is done. And uh, it's really um, a sad situation that at, well, people have to cheat. You know, the young, young athletes have to cheat. Who's the young man from, I think, Milwaukee? Uh, Ryan Braun? Is it Ryan Braun? I think it's the name, the, the baseball player. He does, He's not huge or big or anything either. So... Uh, I wonder what these guys really took. They don't have the look of where they ballooned up. And maybe huge. they just maybe they just trained and exercised uh, the old-fashioned way and, and ate properly. Well, they've also found certain athletes in the Olympics or whatever during test, testing were taking illegal, supposedly illegal, banned substances prescribed by their doctor. Oh, the Eastern Bloc uh, well, no, because countries? No, no, not illegally. These were things because they were sick and it was in their prescribed medication. They had no idea that this was bad. Well, steroids. The doctor wrote on my prescription. It had some of this substance in it, and you know well, they an failed. An they an failed. Anabolic steroids originally was a prescribed mm -hmm. for uh, emaciated patients. But you know, some of this testing. How can you fail some, and then if you test again, you you don't fail. You What's got a point. What's going on with the testing? You got a point. How can that be? Should it be either pass or fail across the board? No matter how many times you're tested, I don't understand this. You know, as a nutritional consultant, you know how many people ask me about natural cleansers uh, for preparing them for a drug test? How many people wanted to, you know, trick the drug test because they had to take sure. a drug test? Which means there's a lot of young people well, that are using. And the bottom line is, no matter what, what you take, there's always a way to, to hide or, to, or disguise yeah. it per se. And I'm sure it's being done. And I'm sure you can look on the, any website and find ways to do it too. I just don't know where all this is headed for, for sports. No. It's just, there should be, I mean, you shouldn't even have to have a disclaimer. They, they just shouldn't. 
be allowed to cheat. It's 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 like any other. Well, they know that you're not supposed to cheat. You're not supposed to take what they still do. Everybody's looking for anything that will give them a Billy, edge. that's like having a thoroughbred racehorse, and you and you're at the Preakness in Maryland, and you put an extension to make the horse's nose longer, and the horse won by a nose. Well, well, hasn't there been uh, uh, accusations of steroid use in some of the horses secretly given to in years past? You're right. So you're right even about in the that. horse racing field now. It, uh, seems, it seems to be. Uh, uh, it seems like unethical behavior it is, is the norm. What is? But anything to win. At all costs. Why? Because winning means money. And everything. Your performance is better. A bigger contract for you later. Right. Now we're we're living in a very greed-oriented society today, which is really sad. And uh, people used to do it because they loved the sport. They loved what they did. You know what I mean? They it's, didn't get the big money back then. They used to work in the off season at another job. The money wasn't huge. Yeah. And that's not that long ago. We're talking about. The, People had a fit in, I think, 60, mid to late 60s, when Namath came up and as a rookie signed with the Jets for $450,000. Wow. People said, that is insane. And now you sign and sit the bench for millions. You don't even play. So it's changed in a matter of decades, you know, really. You know, I bet, the, I bet the stars back then, being that they did it for the love of the sport, I bet that's the reason why they didn't charge fans for their autographs. That they you know, It was gave a whole different mindset. In fact, our parents grew up in a different era, too. It was a whole different mentality. Uh, you know, everything has changed. Yeah, like and the, change is not always good. The days of We've Ted Williams and uh, Stan yeah, Musial yeah. and, and uh, Joe DiMaggio. I mean, Babe Ruth's training was lifting a beer. <laughs> that was his training. Well, his, his father owned the saloon in Baltimore. Right. Supposedly, we're second bases in Camden Yards. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I've heard. So. Pratt, Pratt Street. I don't know. No, that was that's the street Babe Ruth lives, grew up, and I believe that's where the... And I'm proud. I'm a Baltimore boy, as you know, yeah, too. Well, so. that's where the tavern was. Yeah. Babe Ruth. Now, but I don't know what's going to happen down the road with sports. I have no idea. You look at them trying to make football safer, where it's making it harder to tackle somebody. So where's everything headed? For the first time this coming baseball season, you're not allowed to have home plate collisions with a catcher. So that's a big change. you got to step to the side as a catcher. That's, yes, where is everything headed? Yeah. We're, we're, are we trying to, try to over-sterilize sports? Yeah, you can't block the now, plate. No. What's going to be next? Some of these tennis players are grunt because it gives them more power. Uh, grunting will be illegal or a penalty. Oh, you, I, you've heard some of them, the grunt, everything they think. I, I, but it listen, gives them more power. Listen, I hated it when I used to personal train at, at gyms, and these, 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 these young guys would scream with every, every rep when yeah, you know. Yeah. They're yeah. screaming at the top of their lungs. Now, is that necessary to scream well, when you're lifting weights? Maybe it is for them. Maybe that's their style and their way. You know, what works for one doesn't always work for the other, but if that's their way, hey, go for it. Yeah. You know? But uh, yeah, this is really a situation that's uh, gotten out of hand. And nobody knows where it's headed. Yeah, well, you know, and, and, and not only that, get, getting back to what we talked about off the air, uh, people are always, uh, they're always attacking the uh, athletes for receiving such astronomical salaries, but the owners can say no. The owners can't say no, but they don't. You know, and, and who gets hurt? The fans, because the price of the tickets are, are really high. They're a rip-off. The price of the food at a stadium is, is ridiculous. But well, look how fair it is at a minor league ball game. Very fair. Dollar hot dogs. Look at the purest example of baseball. Little League. Little League World Series, you know how much it costs to go in there? Nothing. Dollar a hot dog, drinks like a dollar. Everything's cheap. Yeah. Someone, you go to have fun. Someone told me to take his wife and his two kids to a Major League Baseball about game. About 400 some odd dollars. Yes, between the tickets and the food. Yeah. yeah. Because, they, because, heaven forbid, yeah. you should be allowed to bring your no, own, you're not even allowed, no, your own no, sam no. snacks. No, that's how they get you. You can't bring your own. Where's that fair? I mean, no. Uh, you know what they told me uh, when I was, uh, somebody had a ticket. It was in the winter. The uh, Pittsburgh Steelers were playing the New York Jets over here at the Meadowlands. And uh, I brought my stainless steel thermos that you know of, you know of. They won't let me bring the thermos in because they said it was a security yeah, it violation. Yeah, it is. So they, they, they think there's a bomb in it, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they thought it maybe... Well, you can't even carry liquids on a, on a, a, a jet flight yeah. now. Any fluid or liquid could be used for bomb making or something. Right. Uh, pen knives, even. 
Uh, we're become, we are so paranoid. It's understandable, but it's taking all the enjoyment of living out of life. That's, That's sad. Maybe we have to just take our chances sometimes still. Yeah, it's Do what we can, but we get a little carried away at times. Well, it just seems like, like <clears throat> the monetary factor, that greed, it has become so obsessive nowadays. Win at all costs. Uh, succeed at all costs. Yeah. Be become. Yeah. It's not enough to become a millionaire. Everybody has to become a billionaire. You know, it's like it's never enough. What is enough? Never enough. And then there are people who are existing and not really living. That's right. I've said that for how long? There yeah. are pe there are people who worry about their next meal. You're, where you're, where it's you're, coming you're from? You're existing. You're not living. There's a difference. You're alive, but you're not living. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, is it living has an entirely different meaning. It should be living should be enjoyed or whatever, not just an existence. And sadly, the majority of people on this planet are just merely existing, getting yeah. by. Some of our, how many people go to bed hungry at night? Yeah, every yeah. night around the planet. I mean, uh, so you have water, not even fresh water, polluted water, bacteria filling their whole body with parasites and what have you. Well, it's it's uh, becoming like it is in. Uh, in uh, countries, third world countries, where they have um, a very corrupt form of capitalism, like Colombia, South America, where you have the the poor, the very poor, and the very wealthy, the and the very themselves. wealthy, and no middle class, no. nothing in between. And it's not that hard to fix their water problem. There are tremendous filtration systems out there that can be put in in a matter of a week or two yeah. or less, even. Yeah. But, uh, well, the uh, Philippines is that way too. People from the Philippines tell me they have corruption. Is the poor get poorer, the rich are getting richer, and there's nobody in between. Go figure. And yet they have one of the greatest universities on the planet, the University of the Philippines. Oh, that's a good school? Phenomenal school. You mean academically? Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I have a few friends that moved down there to go to that school. It was that good? Yeah. Well, well, it, like me and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman always said that the education, a good education, a good complete education, and good health care are supposed to be rights, not privileges. Like Europe and Canada, everybody gets to go to college. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, but anyway, thank you for another great You're session welcome, Jimmy. for. Uh, this week's progressive discussions, and now, now I will return to the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Talk to you next time. Yes. All right, bye. Bye, bye, everybody. Okay, we are back. I am back with the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, and uh, of course, again, thank you very much, William H. Morrow III, for our very hard-hitting, invigorating session together, meeting with him. Um, all right, Dr. Bill, let's get, get, let us get back to these readings. I think the last reading you read before lunch was about Chris Christie and Bridgegate. And uh, as we all know, there are 20 people subpoenaed to testify. And let's see what happens. Personally, I think the word outraged has been grossly overused lately. However, I am outraged that Governor Christie insists on calling the shutdown of the two access lanes to the George Washington Bridge a mistake. Obviously, nothing could be further from the truth. The Bridgegate debacle was a deviously calculated scheme, callously implemented with no regard for the unsuspecting public. This entire issue is a disgrace to New Jersey taxpayers and only exacerbates the persona of New Jersey as a bad joke. Well, it makes it worse than what it is. I wait with bated breath for the outcome of this and other scandals that the investigative committees will uncover. In my opinion, the entire administration needs a complete overhaul. Well, it would have had a complete overhaul if, if people had sense enough to vote for Barbara Bono. 
Who yeah, did, would have been a different Chris. Who did who did <laughs> who did splendidly in in the two debates with Chris Christie. You know, but he was the hero of, of Hurricane Sandy. That's what they made him out to be. And the Democrats for his Christie. Sellouts. The sellout yeah, yeah. traitorous Democrats. Traitorious, yes. Is that the same as a blue dog or is there a different definition? It's the same as a fool. Or somebody that just uh, got their palms greased, took the bribe, and had a reason to or, sell out to Christie. Well, most of them have. You, the reason that the Bridgegate took place was the fact that uh, the mayor of Fort Lee did not endorse Mr. Christie like the other kneeling Democrats. So, you know, it, it may not have been a money thing. It could be a uh, appearance thing. They will appear with Mr. Christie and will enhance their being. Well, his, uh, Christie, Christie and his big, and I, I, I cannot overemphasize the word big, selfish ego, um, and his uh, dictatorial goon boy mannerisms. He is not a bully. He uh, said so. He's, he punished him. Now, exactly. uh, now my friend Mario Petrus uh, was talking to the uh, a former mayor of Fort Lee. And he, he was an old man, but you know he was he was in the gym working out, and he was a former mayor. And this guy was saying Christie's. A, a, He's a great man. He's he was, he's a good man, and if Mario just like went along with it, and uh, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he maybe he was a client of Mario, personal training client. It's possible because I would have told him flat out. I says, "Are you serious? He's a great man." So maybe he was a Republican. This former ma mayor of Fort Lee. To me, it does not matter if a politician is a Democrat or a Republican. What? If there is an abuse of power, it should be investigated and reported on. Well, yes, yes. So kudos to The Record, which is our local newspaper, for uncovering the mess behind the George Washington Bridge lane closure. Oh, they have? They, don't, they never discuss... It was a couple of months late, but you know... The record never really gives you the news that you get on the internet, you know, like like real deep things that's going on, you know, they they they, they deal with lighter subjects. With that said, where are these same investigative reporters when it comes to the many scandals in Washington, including the fast and furious gun running episode, the attack on the US outpost in Benghazi, Libya? and the Internal Revenue sp Service spying. I'll tell this person where those things are. They were not scandals. That's why. They were investigated by Republican conservative Mr. Darrell Issa. And guess what? He found... Close your eyes. And what do you see? Nothing. That's exactly what he found. I, you mean he played Sergeant Schultz? from Hogan's Heroes. No, he didn't admit they found nothing. Oh, he still uses them as uh, 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 ways to uh, to, uh, to uh, 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 cuddle up to the base. But they are without any evidence. All three of those scandals that she, she, she mentioned. Okay? Believe me, if there was a there there, Mr. Issa and the Republicans would be there, there. But there is nothing there, and they're trying to make perception there. But that's all they have. Okay? Perception. Yeah. Not one bit of evidence, as you keep claiming that they need when they speak. They don't think so. They speaketh. Then what is Without evidence? evidences. 
because they because they say they have evidence, they that means they have evidence. Per Obviously perception is bullshit unless it can be proven. Obviously, their base does not demand proof. Well, they're just covering up. Bingo. If there were a Republican administration in Washington during these scandals, one could be sure that the press would be as relentless as it is being now with the Governor Christie. How dare the press believe that one scandal is worse than another because of the political party at the helm. Well, uh, breaking the law is breaking the law. Uh, that was a defense of Mr. Christie. You know, I mean, uh, 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 unethical behavior is, is, Abuse is, of is, power. is bad, no matter what politician <coughs> does it, you know. Yeah, but gee whiz, you got to prove it, don't you? Yeah. They haven't proved it in those three scandals that she mentioned. But we're about to prove it in the Christie scandal, aren't we? Well, they're, they're really going after Christie. That's correct. If there's something there, we will find it. You know, uh, whether people find Chris Christie as a threat in 2016 or not, um, no matter how you shake it if, it, if it's a Republican to go up against, it's a big threat. It, it, it's still serious, and um, the implica implications for the poor and the middle class are still the same. So uh, it doesn't have to be Christie. It could be a anybody. If they're right wing, they're the enemy, and uh, they're, a th they're always a threat because they're the puppets of the, uh, the cor corporations, the elitists. Which no. we, they are re they are enemies because they wish to destroy this government of we. Yeah. They want and they they have this government of them and the corporations right now. They do not want us to have a government of we. Okay. Because a government of we would stop the Man Monsantos of the world from doing their dastardly deeds. Yeah, and, and, Nestle, and Nestle's and, and, and all Nestle of them. And the Nestle boys, yes. Yeah, well, the only difference between Chris Christie and the other Republicans is because he's more flamboyant, boisterous, you know. He sticks himself in front of a camera and has a lot to say. He's louder, you know. He's, uh, he likes the, he's vindictive for those hey. that don't like him. Whenever the red light goes on on a camera in Washington, yeah, those Republicans are right there, baby. Believe me. Yeah. Right there to get that FaceTime. Somebody posted a cartoon of uh, what if Chris Christie became president in 2016 and, and it showed um, an attack drone uh, chasing down somebody on the highway that uh, didn't agree with Christie or, or, or you know having drones sent by Chris Christie to, to go after everybody everybody who, who, who criticized him or was not su supportive of him well you know like a, like a goon like, like a like a a dictator like a mafia boss like, like a dictator yeah hmm. Well, he's, the half, point is, he's half Irish and half Italian. But the point is, oh my God. The point is, though, that a lot of police departments do now have drones. In spy, okay. Along in spy, with their SWAT teams. Well, they have the, the spy drones, the uh, un, little unmanned miniature uh, like helicopters. They have a small one now, like Mosquito that can jab you and DNA from you. That's amazing, huh? It's incredible. Incredible. Yeah, but I don't think the, I don't think local law enforcement they have do. that something that sophisticated. They can order it from the federal government. I can believe me. They got SWAT teams. They got those uh, military military uh, uh, trucks or whatever the hell they are to go bomb people well I know they have uh, they have the electronic fake rock that they throw 
on your front lawn that can hack into everything you're doing. They can hack you on your telephone. Hear what's going on in your house. Yeah. In your privacy. Okay? Privacy. Right now the NSA is collecting every bit of digital data in the world. Well, oh, we won't use this unless they, you know, a terrorist calls somebody in the United States or well, whatever. A Bullshit! Lot, a lot of people, more than you, you think, are aware of the corruption that's been going on. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, look, if, two par if the two-party system is business as usual, why are people still supporting the two-party system? You know, well, they figure it's the only game in town. But like the system hasn't changed. Like Obamacare, a lot of uh, poor people are very happy with health coverage that they never had before. Yeah. And so, so, but they don't. The Republicans probably don't want it subsidized. Uh, poor people. They don't want it subsidized. Yeah, Obamacare. Well, why would elites want to support an army of poor people? that if they really understood their power within a democracy would take away their money or vote them uh, with problems. That's why they want to dumb down the population. And that's why they are uh, partnered with the corporations to keep the people down. They want to dumb down the mainstream so the mainstream will work for chicken feed wages or or be incarcerated in one of those uh, uh, slave labor camps, which Ooh. I call privatized prisons. Yeah, if somebody put uh, a banner up there on uh, uh, Facebook last night about uh, this one guy, who, uh, kid, who shot four people and got away with murder or whatever, and then the young lady who killed her baby in the dumpster or whatever, and got away with murder, and then Another guy sitting in jail for smoking pot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. You're right, the guy, possession of marijuana, he's doing time. Life! Life, why? He's doing life! Why is he doing life? There's another guy in Texas years ago. Life? He, he wrote out three bad checks, he's doing life. Three strikes and you're out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about twisted. Three strikes mean like what? Three felonies or something? And that's it? That's all? I don't even know if that's a felony. That's a, maybe a misdemeanor. You write a bad check. What the hell? Isn't that kind of frivolous to be supporting a person in prison for the rest of his life? I mean, isn't, it, isn't that like a drop in a bucket? I mean, to be having a person drop in for a bucket. life? The man should have been fine. A couple of bucks. That's three, it. Three felonies and you're in for life, which means that's tax dollars keeping these people taking up prison space unnecessarily. I think it's an excuse to get slave labor. Could be. I think this is the new modern day scam of corporate America is the privatized prisons for getting people to work for free. It's even worse than outsourcing cheaper for them it's cheaper than outsourcing. Yeah. It's all twisted. Yep. It's all twisted. Speaking of twisting, Governor Christie has done it again. With your help. I don't like or dislike the governor. Well, here's another wimp. But the record is doing his bidding. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Look at his plan to extend the school day and year. I think it's horrible. Parents don't know what to think. How much more will the longer school days and year cost in taxes? Let me guess. He wants the teachers to work the longer hours with the same pay or less. And no pensions. No pensions? Well, that's what they would like. They're doing it in Detroit and other places where they have uh, Republican governors. 
I think I think this calls it's for It's the pensions that are taking the city's broke. I think this calls for a statewide teacher strike. What happens to our summer vacation? Oh, if I, as a child, if I was a kid, I would be throwing darts at a photograph of Chris Christie. When I, will little Johnny get home? When will little Johnny uh, have time to do his homework after dinner? If he was in school later than 3 p.m. The New Jersey Education Association says school boards are wondering how to pay for the extra hours. You know what Chris Christie said about all this? He wants to prepare children for a lifetime of work for the for the for the workplace. He wants to prepare workplace? Where are the jobs? Even so, <laughs> it is a dumbing down. Because what they want you to do is they don't want you to go to college anymore to like uh, have a liberal arts. Uh, uh, curriculum. You must train for something. Yeah, they want you to train for a so-called in-demand no. occupation. Exactly. In-demand, so-called in-demand. At the time you're going to school maybe, but when you get out... You may not be in demand anymore. Yeah, bingo! You know, you know in the government website it said fashion design wasn't considered a demand occupation? What happened? Fashion designer you got to be kidding me what's the man occupation there's a new show on cable it's a lot of new shows on I cable. think it's called the gun show or something g-u-n-n -N. oh that's been around it's about fashion it's like the voice or the one with crowd crowd what the hell was that one fashion? America's got talent or something well I know uh, uh, the um, other one I know uh, Joan Rivers has had that fashion uh, show for a long time. But well, anyway, it's, it's competition. Listen, you know what I mean? if medical billing and coding, now I don't know now, that might be, with Obamacare, that might, be, fashion. that might be in demand again. It wasn't before. But fashion design? No. That's something you take like a liberal arts vaca a vacation. Okay. Liberal arts? Vocation. Yes. These are the things like in the old days. People went to college and they took philosophy and they took this and right. that and everything. Things that we would say, those people would say today, well that's not preparing you for a uh, 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 a job in a big corporation. Yeah, right? a marketable skill. Marketable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, marketable. Even though you hate it. Well, it's not training the brain for bigger things. Maybe the talent of the person that wants to take the liberal arts course will will achieve real success because yeah. if you love what you're doing, it's really not work. He may be the innovator, yes. Innovator. The inventor. However, then he is presented with another problem. Yeah. Getting the money to support his invention or his innovation. That's true. If you have an idea, how do you market it without being ripped off by some corporation? That's or, the capitalist system. Or if you go to school to learn a career that the government says is in demand and you, you have this career now and uh, you can't get a job because they're not out there. And then now you try to freelance. You know, you try to start a small business. That's another thing Republicans uh, say. Oh yeah, start your own. Uh, I mean, teabaggers say it. Don't work for somebody else. Start your own business. Oh yeah. What do you live on until your business becomes a success? Until you get enough clients. And how do you promote it? How do you promote it? And how do you get your clients initially? Maybe take the cookies on the street like uh, Amos did. Famous Amos giving away yeah. cookies. Yeah. And how do you pay your bills while while you're trying to find clients? That's why in the capitalist system, those with the money had the head start. Yep. See, that's the problem. So it's not a fair system, and no. we know that by the inequality that is here today.
Where was I? What about the schools that have no air conditioning? Oh, I remember that. Oh. Now the businesses at the shore will have to weather another storm. They already lost because, as it is, high school students have to start their fall activities in the middle of August. Now Holy there may be even less time for vacations. Holy shit. That's bad, man. The governor and his staff knew all of this. They knew the media would swallow it hook, line, and sinker. The fictional proposal to lengthen the school day and year was a red herring designed to wipe Bridgegate from the headlines. Distraction. The oldest trick in the book. Look over there. So meanwhile, all the teachers and New Jersey's um, youth will be up in arms, and, and, and it's a big distraction to keep keep your mind away from Bridgegate. Well, that's how they do it, though. Because I'm sure anybody who goes to school and anyone who teaches is going to hate this. And uh, I mean, I hate it. And I'm not and a I'm teacher. Not even going to school. And I'm not a student. I hate it like with a passion. I think it's terrible. Extending the uh, the length and cutting cutting into the summer vacation. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I heard Christy claim that he had cut property taxes uh, this year because of school crapola. Yeah. Of course, that don't figure too well if you're going to extend the year. Well, well, he should cut property taxes anyway because Christy took a hatchet to so much New Jersey spending, state spending. I mean, he did cut quite well, a bit. Well, he had to give the, those millionaires a break. Uh, now, you break. see the hypocrisy of all this. I know they control the, the the media and everything, but they 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 demonize the poor. They get a few crumbs, which is what welfare is to the poor. But the rich get, they get like uh, a whole loaf. They don't get they don't a get not only a loaf. They get a whole they get a whole cattle butchered. <laughs> you tell them let them eat cake, and guess what? They eat the cake. They they get. They get they take the bakery. They don't just take the cake. They got the whole bakery. Exactly. The welfare that goes to the rich is not a, Where drop, is the beef? a drop in a bucket like when the poor get welfare. You know, and but that's fine. The rich who don't deserve it get it. But not the poor. That's great. And nobody in the media comes forth and says this except possibly Lionel who is a local personality, I believe he's progressive, on... To an extent. Channel 11 picks. He says some pretty, uh, you know... Uh, Let him get on the wrong side of a sponsor. Pretty amazing You'll see things. his ass get out of there post-haste. You mean have at least one sponsor that he, he rubs the wrong way? Or one of the executives at the top. He just hasn't ruffled the wrong feathers yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, then I would tell my, my fans and my public why I'm being fired from the station to let them know. You won't be able to then. Of course. You might have fallen the guy. all over the internet. Well, fine for that. But how many people are going to go to line now on the internet? Those that subscribe to Lionel. <laughs> exactly. Just because things, people, whatever, are on the internet, doesn't mean it's it's, it's the same old bullshit. Well, he's from radio. He's There's ra got to be some way of getting things to people. He could tell. He could tell his his uh, legions of fans on his radio station if he's still doing radio. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. But if I'm not mistaken. I accidentally was going down the dial the other day, and it seems to me that Rush Limbaugh is now on WOR. What? What? He's not on WABC? Really? That's what I saw the other day or heard. 
Yeah. Yeah, I hope he's not. Maybe he took Grant's place. Because he was getting a little friction on WABC. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because so maybe he's they been, gave him a big contract. Because he's been an ass. I'm yeah. surprised at WR going for uh, for Limbaugh. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised at them going for money. I'm surprised Fox News has hasn't given Rush Limbaugh a show. Uh, yeah. There you go. A satanic group has unveiled designs for a seven-foot-tall statue of Satan it wants to place at the Oklahoma State Capitol. Oh, jeez. Let me guess. There's a Republican governor in Oklahoma? Where a Ten Commandments monument was placed uh, in 2012. First of all, how do they know what Satan looks like? No, but they don't even know what Jesus really looked like, or, or any of them. Oh, man. The New York-based Satanic Temple... Oh, it's in New York? ...submitted its application to a panel that oversees the Capitol grounds, including an artist's rendering that depicts Satan as a Baphomet. Yeah, the goat. The goat head, goat headed man. Figure with horns and wings. And a long beard sitting on a throne inscribed with an inverted pentagram. According to a spokesman for the temple, the statue will also have a functional purpose as a chair where people of all ages may sit on the lap of Satan. Lovely. Well, for inspiration. Santa, Santa Claus, yeah, what are they gonna, they're gonna rub And his, contemplation. They're gonna rub his uh, crotch for good luck? He doesn't have a crotch. Contemplation. Well, he has a crotch. But there's nothing there. But he has no protrusions on that crotch. Unbelievable. So instead of Santa, which is Paganism also, they're going to sit on Satan's lap in, in public. Beelzebub! This is the first. Boosters argue that if the government can place an overtly Judeo-Christian monument on its property, it must accept monuments from other faiths to avoid running afoul of the Constitution. Yeah, but they're talking about a red state, a Bible Belt state. <sighs> Stephen Waldman, Ugh. author of Founding Faith, How Our Founding Fathers Forged a Radical New Approach to Religious Liberty, called the statue the inevitable outcome of what religious conservatives set in motion with efforts to bring more religion into the public square. So that's, that's a way of promoting religion, is to have a giant statue of Satan. No, that's the way to get even with the Republicans who have already put a statue or monument of the Ten Commandments there. Oh. You see. I see. Well, the Ten Commandments go with their fire and brim brimstone uh, approach to Christianity. That's Old Testament. Well, it's not only Old Testament. It was for ancient Israel ancient, and not yeah. for modern day men and women. Yeah. Okay? Judgment. Otherwise, why the hell do people need to be resurrected onto judgment? If there's judgment today. Mm. Right. Why, why twice? What's that? I don't know. Somebody outside the door or somebody inside the door? I don't know, I hear a cat. Yeah, I think it's Mama. Well, she can... Mama the mouse. Ah, whatever. If she gets loud, I'll open the door, but she probably won't come in. He added, as James Madison said, even government efforts to help religion will backfire yeah. and hurt religion. Right. Brady Anderson of the Oklahoma chapter of the American 
Civil Liberties Union, which is suing in state court to have the Ten Commandments statue removed, oh boy, pointed to Florida, where the placement of a nativity scene on the state capitol grounds last year led to a free-for-all. The nativity scene, from what I understand, Jesus may not have been born in a, in a manger. It is inaccurate in any event. It has three wise men there. They didn't appear at the time of birth, did they? No, they did not. So, if we take the 25th of December as his birthday, and he was born in a manger. Right. When the uh, when the, uh, the the wise men came to see him was a couple of weeks later. I'm sure he was still not in the manger. Well, the Latin American countries um, they uh, celebrate. I believe it's called Three Kings, Three Kings Day, Day, which is is sometime at the beginning of January. Sixth or something. Yeah, something like that. But but yeah, of course he, he wasn't born in December, and. The whole manger, the whole nativity scene is false. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. And same thing with, of course, the Christmas tree, the holly, the wreaths, everything else. The Yule. Well, the Yule log I'm not going to pick on because I like fireplaces. Very cozy. Very nice. The smell. The Yule log represents the sun. Yule means wheel. Oh, okay. The sun. Well, then just call it but light. It's all pagan stuff. Light in the fireplace in the winter, then. Yeah. Keep it warm, baby. Keep it warm and having a, a nice. A nice marshmallow roast. Cozy. Oh, I hate marshmallows. Maladon. No, uh, I would do a uh, smoked sausage kielbasa roast on kebab skewers. You need a grill for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could put. You could put. You can't put them over the fire like I'm. Uh, no, you could put the. You know what you could do? You could put like a cast iron hibachi or something like that right next to the logs that are flaming. And it will heat the grill, you know, uh, sideways. The temperature in the fireplace, it'll, you know, it'll heat the grill enough so you can grill things. That might work. To get around the First Amendment problems, they had to let other groups in. So next to the creche was a Festivus pole and flying spaghetti monster. Flying spaghetti monster? I know Festivus from Seinfeld, but a spaghetti monster? Here is something with thousands of years of tradition. I Next to a joke from Seinfeld. You know, I we got rid of our Festivus pole. We used to have one of those aluminum uh, uh, trees. It was stupid, but shouldn't. I, how did I know Festivus was going to be so popular after the Seinfeld episode? I would have kept it. You should have saved the pole. I didn't lap know that. Dancer. Lap dancing pole. No, I should have saved the pole with the stand and you just got rid of the stupid aluminum tree if I would have known about Festivus. Anyway, the government here is uh, 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 making equal Christmas and Seinfeld. That cheapens a lot of people's faith. You know, either way, it's ridiculous. It's preposterous. What? what what the, what, the, what the liberals want to do is, is crazy. What the conservatives want to shove down your throat is nuts. Crazy. It's crazy. Both sides. Politics itself is crazy. Why do you have to spend or money as on this? said, politics is pathological. I mean, why can't people just celebrate in their own home, privacy? Why do we have to spend tax dollars on these things? Well, why are they celebrating Jesus' birthday? <clears throat> he never, it's not required anywhere. He, he never asked to honor his birthday or anybody else's birthday. And that's birthday. why nobody knows when it occurred. Of course. But we know when Herod's birthday was. And the tradition... And Pharaoh. 
Yeah. And all the traditions of the so-called holidays, Easter, Christmas, they're all from paganism. But you know what? This information is is on the History Channel. The doc, there, there's been documentaries explaining it. It's on the uh, internet. The, you know there are people, as we speak right now, that still have not removed their Christmas decorations in front of the house. Man. Like they don't want to let go, but it, but it's fake anyway. It's 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 a. <laughs> Look, I'm serious. As Gary Knoll said the other day, after you know investigation, etc. You can't change ideology and fundamentalism. You can't do it. He's, this ideology and fundamentalism is 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 a fantasy. It's a fairy tale. Exactly, but. As Revelation 12, 9 says, the whole world is deceived. But he who is deceived does not know he's deceived. So he defends his ideology and his fundamentalism to the death. Then why are there people, like George Carlin said, who are independent free thinkers that will question everything? Very few. And throughout history and do some research like people like us like a Gary Knoll like the late George Carlin did like others very few uh, um, Jesse Ventura the, you know these are, it's amazing how there are humans that are free independent thinkers and there are even more that are not that believe in ideology and are too lazy to or not lazy but they, they're too powerful. They they won't open their mind to the truth. Why should they do that? That takes work. I knew somebody that Talk was about lazy. I knew I know somebody personally that freaked out when I did a a little video at Pub Forty Six about Santa Claus and and pagan Christmas. He's afraid that his relatives and friends won't like him, won't accept him anymore if he changes his... Uh, well, that's one of the problems when you go around spouting the truth. You ain't liked anymore. People are afraid. They're not going to be approved. Oh, I can't uh, I can't say that about Santa Claus. I'm, I'm a Catholic. I said, what the hell does Catholicism have to do with uh, worshipping a pagan holiday? And what does Christmas have to do with Santa Claus? Yes, correct. And Saint Nick and Santa Claus and etc. and all the reincarnations, uh, therefore, came uh, like what 1700 years after Jesus. So, this person, because <laughs> he grew up with this form of religion, this Catholicism, if somebody proved to him that the Catholic Church was wrong about many things that are in the Bible, he would he would close his mind to that also because yeah. he's program to march in lockstep to this brainwashing whereas other people like us are well our brains are, are I don't know if our brains are just more advanced than his or as Reich showed liberalism and conservatism are character structures not brain stuff Yeah, they but, are character structures. Yeah, but many liberals usually can back up what they say with evidence. What does that have to do with a character structure? If you are a conservative... Validates it. You will take onto your conservatism things that agree with your conservatism. If you are a liberal, you will do okay. the same. Is this why some Democrats won't accept the fact that uh, many are turncoats and sellouts? Democrat is not a character structure, it's, it's a party. It's a party. Yeah. Wow. A character structure for a progressive liberal is one of compassion, uh, empathy, um, yeah, yeah, I would say that's the biggest trait, you know, the ability to empathize and, and feel compassion. And conservative would be the opposite. The opposite. The conservatives would be the worship of money. <gasps> the bottom line always wins in the, in the end. The only one who is happy is the one who wants to make a mockery of religion. The ACLU, 
has also complained that the Oklahoma Monument reflects a translation preferred by Protestants, not the Catholic or Jewish version. Each have their own version. What about God's version? In response to the Satan request, yeah. the state, state and capital Preservation Commission placed a moratorium on considering any new monuments until the lawsuit is decided. So, they ain't got no Satan statue yet in Oklahoma. Why don't they just put a statue of Satan wearing cowboy boots? Ten gallon hat. They should have, you know, they should have that on every exit out of Texas. A picture of Satan with cowboy boots and a hat, a ten gallon hat. Welcome. And say, leaving Texas. Leaving Texas. Welcome Something like to that. Texas. Sorry to see you. Or, bro. yeah, you could have it welcome. Come back. Come That's even better. Come back, y'all. Come back, y'all. Y'all come back now. Y'all come back now. Bashi, Nigeria. A lot of scammers coming out of Nigeria. Internet sure. scamming. And Ghana, too. A young man convicted of sodomy uh -oh. was whipped 20 times Thursday in a northern Nigerian Sharia court. Are they practices of Islam in Nigeria? Sharia court. Sharia law. Oh, they're, they're cultural? Islamic law. Oh, Islamic. Yeah. But there's something else going on, like in Uganda. The religious nuts are in Uganda. Really? And they wish to kill gays. Oh yeah, as I've seen the Bible that. says, they set one on fire. Yes, they did. I I, I posted a a photo of that on the group. Again, people using their own thoughts and traditions and etc. in 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 offense of what God says because God is not judging. So you have no right to judge today. Yeah, at this time, God is not judging. Though Mubarak hmm. Ibrahim hmm. was found guilty under Sharia law, hmm. it is the first conviction of a gay man in Nigeria since President Goodluck <laughs> Jonathan Good luck. <laughs> signed on. a bill. We haven't rung them all day. Levity bells. That further criminalizes homosexuality under the West African nation's Western-style penal code. Uh. Activists believe the new law has stirred homophobia. Maybe homophobia created the new law. Jeez. Yeah. You know? Oh, boy. They, they can't just live and let live and worry about... Oh, God! Their, ...worry about their own salvation and their own lives. Live and let live. What is this? Uh, this lust for for power and control. I revenge. Mean, hmm? Revenge. Revenge. Uh, yeah. they the gays revenge. are very inoffensive people. I mean, inoffensive as in uh, they don't hurt anybody. Uh, that is not the belief of the conservative right wing. They believe that the gays have an agenda and they wish to make us all gay. There's a paranoia. Paranoid. I can see me now that, becoming gay. That's where they. That's where where they found the word. Uh, that's how they found the word homophobic. Phobic. Well, that's a fear. 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 Yeah. But if it's the same thing with gay marriage, what the hell do I care about gay marriage for? I ain't marrying no gay, and he ain't marrying me. So why it bothers me? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's something between them. The only I thing don't bother me you know at what? all. The only thing that bothers me 
is when one of the lesbian couples at the altar um, is dressed like a man. You know, why can't they just be how they are in everyday life? Why does it have to look like a bride and a groom? You know what I mean? Who knows? It's but weird. Why do, why do hip hoppers have to go around with, the, oh, by the way, did you see the new, uh, what would, we, what would we call it, the, the new decoration, body decoration? It's a see-through piece of glass and round shape. And, it's and like they put a mirror. It, no, it looks into your jaw, into your mouth. It's disgusting. You see right in through the mouth. It's kind of gross. It's this. Oof. It's mutilation. Well, what about those people in Africa? Where they, uh, they mutilate the neck so the neck gets long. They, they, yeah, they, they stretch the neck. They, uh, the, the you bangies. What is it? They stretch yeah, the so lips. And the lips. It's, uh, it's the same thing as dressing like a man. Then I there's mean, another tribe. you explain that? Where the stuff? earlobes are pulled and stretched. How do you explain that shit? You know, people are weird, eh? You know, I. What did what did the watch my call say? You had that program in the afternoon with the kids. People are funny. Is that what? It was? Nah, I don't know. I, I never watched that silly family-oriented programming. I watch uh, f funny adult stuff. I used to watch the newlywed game. Oh, no, and I, the match game. No, I watched them. I the watched afternoon. them. But. Um, I respect uh, athletes, uh, like there are some pro wrestlers that have no tattoos whatsoever. John Cena, uh, The Miz, uh, uh, Alex Riley, I mean there are people who just did not go the route of, ha of this tattoo fad where everybody just has to get not one, not two, but several or excessively amounts of tattoos. You see it a lot in porn too, all the chicks have got Tattoos. Well, the the, the 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 fuck me tattoo, the the slut tattoo, is usually the 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 large tattoo on on the lower back of the girl, like right above the ass cheeks. What in does the, it say? In the Whoa. middle. No, the va it varies. The, the design varies, but they're usually uh, uh, attractive. Yeah, but if she's not into analism, does it say Whoa? Uh, it should say USDA choice grade A. <laughs> on her butt cheek. No, but it's in the center, and usually girls that are uh, a little on the wild side usually have that, the tattoo in the in the center of the lower back. But the point I'm trying to make But excessive is, amounts. I... Forget it. I knew this young lady, not so young anymore, who owned this spanking video. Yeah. Whatever. A, fe a fetish uh, company. Company. And she, rightfully, in my opinion, did not go for those with the tats, tattoos. The uh, initials are D, C. No, the owner. Somebody else, the owner, okay. Owner. She did not want anyone with visible tattoos. tattoos. Yeah. Well, because I find it at the least. It's more enticing. I find it at the least. Uh, not even bringing into it, you know, the destruction of the body, uh, the tattoo acting as a, uh, a low-grade infection, yes. any of that. I'm not bringing in any sure, of that, but system, it is distracting to me. The immune system will attack a tattoo as a form and, of behavior. And, and, and the and things, you the tongue thing, body and the, the, the excessive the body piercing. The nipples and, well, you see, you the, know? Uh, I, think it's better, I think it's better to make the, uh, the porno girl or woman or whatever look um, like a decent everyday girl next door you know where she doesn't have tattoos and then fool everybody by having her behave in a very slutty manner in the movie because you know because oh. you expect if a girl looks like a prostitute yeah you expect her to be I'm only talking about to behave as one I'm only talking about it coming from the print of an artist see well, some I want to see. I have the belief. I have the belief. There are billboard for the artist that the human, feminine form, is quite beautiful and should remain unblemished, like God in the Old Testament when He wanted a sacrificial animal. It had to be the firstborn and unblemished. Yeah, I, I, I hear that's what you're why, saying. That's how I look at it. 
I don't have any. I, I really don't choose to have any. I, I think that tattoos uh, can be very artistic, depending on the tattoo. What? Artist. With two colors? No, no, no. Well, not two colors. I've seen them. How with, many colors can you use? In I've a super seen tattoo? red and green and. Uh, uh, yeah, red and green and black. That's and, it. Uh, yeah, and. Um, what else? No, they they just use like certain colors. That's yeah, it. You're right about that. <laughs> yeah. So how the hell can you really? You're not going to see the uh, the NBC peacock on somebody. No. Not with a tail like that, baby. You know, I mean, like with many colors, like a, like a uh, a like JP a, J, a JPEG photo, a JPG. Joseph's coat of many colors. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, finish up on this reading, and then we'll. Yes, yeah, so we're going into a light subject now. You mean like uh, compact fluorescent bulbs? No, sex. Oh, you're being sarcastic. <laughs> I have been seeing Carl for eight months now. And we have never had sex. I don't believe it. After two or three months... And he's still with her? I brought up the subject. What's wrong with this guy? He said he was stressed because he had just lost his job. He also said, there is never any privacy at his place because he has roommates and tenants. Doesn't he have a bedroom? I offered to go to my place. He's avoiding something. But he said, with my son there, it's the same issue. Tell your son to go in the room and watch TV and shut up. Mommy's, got, to do, the, mommy's got something to do in the internet. As the Trobriander Islanders do, the kids. Yeah. They put a mat over their head whilst the adults are what having about, their fun. Uh, some kind of uh, foam earplugs or just put them in their room and say, <laughs> Don't disturb me. If you knock on mommy's door, you're going to get it real bad. Carl says he is very attracted to me, but doesn't want our time together to be ruined by his current money problem. Doesn't he ever, like, think of other things? I mean, I mean, don't we all have our financial woes? I like mean, what, a boner? In other words, he can't get a boner if, as long as well, he has money that. problems. We don't know that yet. It sounds strange. Perhaps she has not grabbed at the appendage. Maybe she's not... She's not uh, demonstrative, seducing him, Ooh. being assertive, or maybe she's ugly, or maybe she's fat, or maybe she doesn't do anything to arouse him, or maybe he's just an idiot. I told him I understood, and I have waited. Yeah. Hey. <clears throat> I also explained that it makes me feel insecure and unwanted. And why doesn't she ask him to have intercourse with her? He now has a job. Now, what's the problem? But we still haven't had sex. He was making excuses. See, I, I sense something strange about the story right from the beginning. He has, Eight in months. the interim, told me he loves me. Eight months was the... Uh, telltale sign. And he wants to marry me. I constantly worry that there's someone else and wonder what's wrong with me. She's probably right. He's banging somebody else. This is Dear Abby, so now we're going to read Dear Abby's answer. Dear Abby's dead. This is the new Dear Abby. She's calling herself Dear Abby? Yes. How stupid. Maybe her name is Abigail too, I don't know. Is her name Abigail? Dear Love But. Love But. B-U-T, not B-U-T-T. -T. Is there any intimacy at all in your relationship with Carl? Yeah, yeah, I mean. Is he affectionate? Is there any physical response when he holds and kisses you? I mean, does his dick go up? Oh, she puts that... Oh, I put that in myself. 
But that's a question I would answer and, and have knowledge of. So there's absolutely, she's trying to find out if there's any foreplay or any showing of affection. Connection. Which would lead to intercourse. She's trying to establish that. Well, let's just say it's a good night kiss. And it's in, in the frontal mode. You mean a romantic kiss? Well, whatever. Or, or not a peck. <clears throat> but wouldn't her front, her crotch area, uh, rub against something and yeah. have, tell her some knowledge that maybe something, you know, something's they appearing, can talk about the first thing that pops something's, up? Yeah, they can discuss the first, the first you know, thing that pops like up. That. Yeah. Anyway. It's a strange story, though. If the answer is no, your boyfriend may have a physical or emotional problem. He may be asexual or even gay. Before you agree to marry him, I recommend you schedule some time alone together by spending a few romantic weekends at a hotel or a motel. It may give you a better idea of what your future will be like if you two decide to tie the knot. Maybe she should tie his penis in a knot. Or maybe he's already done that. It's very, it's very odd. Uh, it's a possibility that he's uh, exhausting his energies, his sensual energies on another woman. Or maybe he does have a psychological problem. But anyway, but if you are a woman in such a situation, I, like I say, at least <coughs> you might rub the front of you uh, against the front of him and yeah. see if it goes up. Come on. Come on! Try to seduce him. She should grab him by the crotch. Yeah, but who knows? He might be one of these guys who fears uh, the aggressiveness of a woman. And that may make the thing go down instead of up. Is he, is he an older man that might be lacking in testosterone? It doesn't sound like it. It's interesting. Anyway. It's another one of those conundrums that we don't know all the answers to. Conundrums, yeah. Yeah, conduct. Conundrums. 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 The conundrum cucumber farm. Okay. Thank you for joining us for this week's progressive discussions. And I want to say hello to the Progressive Discussions Facebook group and Facebook page called Progressive Discussions. We're also on the Pirate Radio Network <laughs> under the name Progressive Discussions. Makes it easier, you know, than having different names. You know? So anyway, we'll see. Oh, not looking forward to that polar vortex. This coming up soon yeah. Um, yeah yeah you know what I think it makes you more sleepy when you go when you go to a freezing cold outdoors to a toasty warm house and then back again and inside again actually I want to hibernate all winter yeah you know what I got some a quart of great homemade soup that my sister gave me that I think I'm gonna have I think I'm gonna have as soon as I get home all right. Say so long to these people. So long, people. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Hi, this is William Morrow. Are you one of those people who join a health club, and after they have your big overpriced annual membership, you notice that you're on your own with little or no results, even after all the promises? Then the website personal trainer is for you. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. So you, well, lost you lost another, another argument, argument with a conservative, conservative right-wing right Republican. Republican. He, he talked, talked over you. you. He, screamed he screamed and yelled. yelled. He brought he out the Bible. Bible. He thumped it. He, he quoted, quoted scripture, scripture to you. you. And you were lost, lost because you came at him with facts. facts. Nothing, Nothing but, but facts. facts. And, you and you expected that that would, uh, uh, that would that make you look good. That would make you win the argument, but it didn't. You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read Censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read Censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need.
every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative uh, so-called Christian. Censored. That's all you need. Read it and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Hi, this is William Morrow. Are you one of those people who join a health club? And after they have your big overpriced annual membership, you notice that you're on your own with little or no results even after all the promises? Then the website personal trainer is for you. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. So you, well, lost you lost another argument, argument with a conservative, conservative right-wing right Republican. Republican. He, he talked over you. He screamed and yelled. yelled. He brought out the Bible. He thumped it. it. He quoted he scripture, scripture to you. you. And you were lost, lost because you came at him with facts. facts. Nothing, Nothing but, but facts. facts. And, and you expected, expected that that would, uh, that would that would make you look good. That would make you win the argument, but it didn't. You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative, uh, so-called Christian. Censored, that's all you need. Read it, and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Megalife 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet.